you count how a woman is in the labor force or not is through a questionnaire in which they have about 93 codes which gives different occupations so you have a code which says i'm cutting cloth for a garment i am weaving all these are traditionally known as economic activities so then the 93 codes of all the kind of occupations that you can be now in the 93rd there's a question which says did you do anything of of these 92 codes and the interesting thing is that women's self perception of what they do was so undervalued that they said nothing so once they said nothing of those 92 codes they were not in the table course so once it is that i'm working if i get paid for it then what happens is she says i'm not paid for it so i'm not doing anything but if you see what she did whether it is weeding a field or whether it was taking out berries for making a juice or something then you see that it's work and usually in indian villages the head of the household or the person who answers the visitor is a man so the man asks the question who kuch bhi nahi kar rahi hai but now after our our studies and our advocacy they having women is dressed like that also which is fantastic so that they can enter the house and say what are you doing and she says look i'm cleaning the paddy and removing the shells that is work because it's value added to the paddy to the rice so you gradually do what is called comb the hair to find those little pockets where people are not perceiving their work as work and now you know we go for much further we now try to argue that even what is normally called domestic activity is also economically valuable so all those barriers and definitions have melted with more and more progressive feminism